Hey guys, thanks for joining me. And if you like what you see, please subscribe. Hello, peoples. You see this box right here? You know what that means. It means it's time for another pre-order uh, unboxing from Bark River Knives. These are still available on the site and I will try to link it down below. You see it says pre-order right there. So this is, uh, this is, forget blanking on the name at the moment. But, oh, this is their um, Petty Z. Yeah, Petty Z. So I'm pretty excited about this. And I'm going to show you some of my other Bark River kitchen knives I have, too. Um, this did not come with a sheath. Um, most, even some of their kitchen knives come with them. But this one's specifically for the kitchen, meant to go in a wood block or whatever. So, uh, yeah. Um, this is just your standard G Red G10. I was going with practical and inexpensive, and I do have a thing for red and green kitchen knives. So this is a, a petty knife, like a, some kind of knife that you're gonna use to do, fix up small things. Um, the handle is really nice, and you'll see right here, I actually have a uh, a, Millie Ca uh, a uh, mini Kalahari from Bark River that I just did an unboxing for, same red G handle, so these match nicely together, I think. Um, and uh, 154 CM. This is 154 CM too. So are you guys ready to take a look at this blade? I'm pretty stoked about this. All right. Oh wow! Like everyone was like, "This is really small," but this is. I guess people were saying this is really small so much that I I was picturing this to be more like a uh, like a parry knife. But no, this is this is substantially bigger than a parry knife. Here's a parry knife. This is the North Arms. Um, Blanking on the name, Bird and Trout Knife, Mallard, I think it's called. But that's a parry knife. But look how that nice and big that is, right? The tip. Is the tip okay? I think the tip is okay. So this is going to be, you know, it's a tall blade. The geometry of a kitchen knife is 99% of your battle. It's more important than the steel it's made out of and how sharp it is. Uh, a, a knife that has good geometry is going to stay sharp forever. However, this not only has good geometry, it has a good steel, and it's come very, very sharp. It is a slight convex grind. It's not uh, even a saber, so I, it keeps rounding up, I believe. I believe that the thickest part of the blade, well, maybe not. It's gonna, maybe the thickest part of the blade is near the spine, but it, it feels almost like it lumps in the middle there. I wonder if that's true or if that's just a, my just my feeling for it. Um... But yeah, this with this tall side here, it's going to go through and slice very nicely through anything that I'm fixing up in the kitchen. And I think it makes a really nice companion for a really nice, uh, really nice companion for my mini Kalahari here. Uh, sorry, there was someone at the door, so I had to pause the video for a second. I'll show you some of the other kitchen knives that I use here. So I used a bird and trout um, in the kitchen as well. And then I have this guy here. Um... And I have the Iron River, blanking on the name of this guy at the moment, but this is very nice as well. We've got the uh, Maple Burl here, right? And then the other knife that I use a lot that is a smaller knife in the kitchen is the Water Moccasin, the Taupe Water Moccasin, which in a way is kind of a smaller version of the Mini Kalahari. Oh, this is the Bird and Trout Knife. This is the Bird and Trout Knife. Um, so all of these knives are excellent in the kitchen. Uh, I do all the cooking. My wife doesn't touch it, um, which is good because she's not that good of a cook and she doesn't treat knives that well. And then for my big chef's knife, I've been using my North Arms uh, Alder. Sorry, it's a little wet because I just washed it. But the Alder is a phenomenal S35VN, which like for a kitchen knife and a big slab like that, pretty freaking excellent made in Canada. Very nice. So let's get back down to the Petty Z. So you can see like this alder, great for processing big amounts of food, large chef's knife, right? This seems like it's going to fit right in. This is going to be something that I probably use um, a lot in the kitchen, more than most of these others. But we'll see how it plays out. And I'll do a full review of this too. This is the Petty Z again. Uh, I had done a red pine cone pre-order for this. And then I put in a pre-order for the G10 too. The pine cone didn't come out. Oh no, it was cyclone mesh. It was it was cyclone mesh. The pre order didn't come out very well for the cyclone mesh, at least in the picture. I didn't I didn't really like it. And I already had the red G10 
for the Mini, Mini Kalahari. So I went ahead and got that. Uh, it's a cheaper version. I think it was $175, which is cheaper than most of the knives that they have, uh, handle material that they have. And I think it looks really good and it feels really good. Uh, you can see how you've got that. You can see that deep red in there. You can see how it, it's got those waves in there. Very nice. And I think the same simple silver pins look really nice too. Now, you know, I, I definitely sometimes go for the, this is Osage orange with the mosaic pins. This is green and yellow maple burl with mosaic pins on the Iron River, you know, so I sometimes get very fancy things, but um, those are much more expensive. And I think that this works just as fine, especially something that I'm getting for a practical reason. So yeah, so that's a little overview of some of the smaller kitchen knives I have and uh, what I tend to use in there. If you guys have any questions, I'd love to know what you guys use. Um, I have uh, some orders in for LT Wright and some of their kitchen knives as well, but they're not here yet. Uh, so I'm interested to compare them. And uh, I'm really excited to, to, I'm gonna go upstairs right now and start making food with this. So uh, just to get a, a feeling for it, but I think it's gonna be excellent. Let's do a, let's do a, is this sharp test? Oh yeah, scroll cutting all the way from the heel to the tip, first try. Very, very sharp. So a little bit of stropping here and there. We'll keep this maintained for a very long time. I do have a convex bit for my KME, but I'm hoping not to use that for a very long time. We'll see how it goes. Thanks so much, guys, for joining me today. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. That would be awesome. And if you want to get a chance to win a knife every month. All you have to do is help support the channel by becoming a Patreon member or clicking the support button down below on uh, YouTube. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you next time on Sharp Ends. Bye-bye now.